Yo, Rose, I've never been all that good at doing quick videos, but I'll try and make this one as quick as possible. This is an awareness video to let you know about something that I've been kind of teasing at the end of a few of the previous YouTube videos that I've done, and that is my Autodesk Vault Professional installation and setup training course has now been released over on Pluralsight. So in this video, I'm going to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about the course, why I've done it, what it's about, and who it's who it's applicable for, really, and how you get at it as well. So if you're not interested in Vault Professional, if it's something that you don't think is relevant to you or you just can't justify then that's absolutely fine there's no problem whatsoever thanks for coming along just head out it's not a problem whatsoever but for everybody else who is possibly interested in Autodesk Vault Professional this course is something that I am absolutely genuinely and I can't express enough how proud I am of this course that I've done because a lot of people that have watched my channel and maybe have joined recently you probably understandably just think of me as the inventor guy you know you do all these videos on inventor obviously you know trying to be as modest as possible you're quite good at it you know you do some quite good stuff on it you must use inventor all day long for years to get at this kind of level and it's actually not true i've managed users for a long long time that use autodesk inventor i've been a point of contact for autodesk inventor support i've worked in an autodesk reseller in an atc training environment being an atc instructor for autodesk inventor for a lot of years so i've had masses amounts of exposure to inventor which has led me to the point where i can do what i can do with it but actually my day job i'm a vault consultant so I do Autodesk Vault all day long. I manage Autodesk Vault Professional at a corporate administration level uh, and I've had about 15 years experience of doing that. So when Pluralsight offered me the opportunity of doing these kind of training courses at this kind of level with this kind of organizational structure behind it, it was an absolute honor to be able to put my experience into training courses on a platform like this and at a level like this as well. So if you're interested in learning about how to install and set up Vault Professional, best practice guidelines, my course is approximately two and a half hours long. It's modulized, it's all split up into organized clips. You can jump around to any point of the course that you want to, that you think you need guidance on, or you can just watch it from start to finish. The course is 100% designed by, written by, and delivered by me with absolutely no third party involvement in it whatsoever. It is all me. And that's why I'm so proud of this course. I've been able to put everything that I know, everything that I've learned over 15 years of working with Vault uh, at a customer level, at an Autodesk reseller channel level, also very briefly, albeit briefly, uh, also working within Autodesk as a consultant to the Autodesk Vault development team, advising them on how users should use Autodesk Vault as well. So I've kind of had every level of involvement with working with Vault and I've been able to put that experience into this training course. So if you're interested in going and looking and viewing this course, in the description of this video, there is a link. That link is massively, massively crucial to the to, just to the continuation of my channel. It's my affiliate link. If you click that link and you sign up for a trial to Pluralsight, you'll be able to view this course in full using the trial then that gives me a financial kickback which I, I shit you not it is more valuable than an entire lifetime of ad revenue for you and probably a few more people that I would get from YouTube that one kickback for just signing up for a free trial is that valuable to my channel then if you subscribe to a full subscription which once you're there I mean it's very, very tempting you get a 15% discount at the moment if you sign up for an annual subscription it's not just Autodesk stuff it's not just inventor stuff over there they that's actually a very small part of their their website they've got a massive bank of training material on the likes of Adobe's Creative Cloud software, Microsoft software, programming languages, PTC, SolidWorks, you know, Pro Engineer, Solid Edge, that kind of stuff. The training courses galore over there. So if you do want to sign up for an annual subscription at the moment, they're doing a 15% off promotion on an annual pass for Pluralsight. Right, so that's the course plugin done. I think that's probably about enough for that. If you're interested in the course, what I'm going to do now is just play the introductory clip that Pluralsight put together for the training course, which just kind of sells the course. It's me introducing the course and telling you what it's all about, what you're going to expect to find out in this course and what you're going to learn in the course. So thanks very much for your attention. If you are interested in this course, I obviously can't recommend it enough. It is one of the best bits of work that I've done in terms of video content. I'm massively proud of it. Uh, in the future, I will be doing more training courses on Autodesk Vault, but at a user level and an administration level now that we've got the installation and setup aspect of it out the way. So following this is the training course introduction. And then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Good
day everyone my name is Neil Cross and welcome to my course on Autodesk Vault Professional Installation. I'm an independent Autodesk applications and data management consultant based in the UK. I'm also a plural site author for Autodesk Inventor, an Inventor certified professional and along with being on the Autodesk Expert Elite roster I've worked within a Platinum Autodesk reseller for eight years as a Vault Services provider. I've previously consulted in an advisory role for the Autodesk Vault development team and I now manage the Vault environment in two hugely successful global engineering companies. So it's safe for me to assume that you're needing to install Vault Professional. Well, if so, you've absolutely done the right thing by seeking advice and guidance. If you were to ask anyone who works in or has previously worked in an Autodesk reseller, I can guarantee they'll have a horror story about how they know of a company who tried to install Vault by themselves, thought how hard can it be, only to find themselves not only requiring a complete reinstall from the card supplier, but also needing to spend even more money fixing problems that resulted from the failed install. Vault Professional is essential and it demands respect. It's a high-end data management solution which houses the most important asset of your company, your digital design data. It's so essential, in fact, that it indeed warrants its own dedicated course on Pluralsight. So, in this course, we're going to be looking through the entire installation procedure for Vault Professional. We'll cover the planning and preparation required prior to the installation, along with how to configure the various server elements to best practice guidelines. As this is a server-based course, you'll need full administrator permissions and unrestricted physical or remote access to the server you wish to install Vault Professional on, along with access to the software installation media and licenses or serial numbers for the software we'll be using throughout the course. A full detailed list of that software will be given at the beginning of the first course module. So thank you very much for your time. Now let's begin on making sure that you're suitably equipped with the knowledge and insight required to deliver a best practice Vault Professional installation.